Hello, welcome to New Life Scientific. Uh, today we want to talk to you a little bit about uh, DSX for uh, ESA liquid handlers. A uh, very common uh, item for us and uh, from other dealers. Uh, when you get a, 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 this type of a system, uh, when you first get it, I want to give you some tips on what to look for, what to, how, to, how to start your system up uh, on a used system. Um, you very well may get your system and it has some of its supplies inside the unit as well as the deckware. First thing you want to do is to check your quantity, make sure that your dealer is giving you what he says he does. And in this case, uh, there's a keyboard, cables, and etc. Uh, this was originally done with, the, with the, some extra tips. And a lot of your deckware. Um, this particular system has some consumable items with it as well. Uh, these are reagent tubes. Um, these have your sample racks, your scannable sample racks, uh, uh, even another box of tips. Um, trough um, uh, sample trays. Um, your disposable racks. Those you want to make sure if your dealer says they're there. Make sure they're there. Important item uh, in my book is the bypass, the door safety bypass key. Um, these these lids are very um, carefully balanced. They open effortlessly when they're when they're done properly. Um, when the air shocks are in good shape. When they get older, they, they, they're, they're not so much. Good safety device, and it allows you to run the system, especially in the testing stage, with the, with the door open. Uh, it simply slides in the hole there. Uh, now the unit can't come down, and it turns uh, the bypass safety switch off. So you get your unit, uh, it, sometimes it's a good idea to run it uh, the first time without any deck wear in it. Deck wear uh, has uh, location pins that go on, that meet pins on the deck itself. There's only certain places that certain pieces of deck wear can go. This piece of deck wear can go on this, on this position. And, but it can't go into this position. It can go in this position. All of them have particular places. Uh, be sure your units are locked, are locked in. But for your initial test, you would probably want to run it without any deck wear involved. If you're not familiar with them, those are your sample. These can be picked up and scanned into the onboard scanner. Um, absorbance reading, this unit is a two, two incubator. You can buy them without, or with one, with two. With four, there's your your four plate drawer. Um, your wash bottles, those are again, you wanna check and make sure they are. Uh, you wanna inspect your hoses, uh, that they're not pinched. Many times these are shipped with them locked in the uh, valve openings and they will stick shut and sometimes they're, sometimes just a squeeze will bring them out of that. Uh, other times it, it takes new hosing, um, depending on your dealer how they're going to take care of that for you. Uh, of course, the computer arm. Um, you're going to have your computer. This one came with a computer. Um, here, we're going to go ahead and start the unit up. And we have this, these are connected serial. Don't want to, serially. Going to ask you which port they're plugged in. Um, check with your how your system's configured on which COM port to use. We'll start the database. And you'll hear it initialize the system. System does its uh, this is homing and initialization of all the different modules. It goes through a very extensive self-test. Um, of the unit, uh, it tests to make sure the incubators 
our, our present uh, absorbance reader uh, meat specification. Uh, again, homes the arm, homes the, the wash station. Um, and the software is giving you a countdown on where it is in the communication process. Um, it's not important unless you have a, an issue. Um, there, as you can see, the, the ambient drawer opening and closing, doing a self-test and homing, as well as the, as the arm. Okay. It's a fairly quick arm, which is why you will always want to run this in, uh, not in production mode with the head down. Um, in your uh, initial setup modes, uh, especially where we're going to be running, which is in a manual mode, up uh, uh, is, is very handy. Um, when it starts up, it gives you the entire um, diagnosis of what it found, serial numbers, what, it, uh, what serial numbers of all the devices, what filters they're registered in the, uh, the plate reader, what your settings are. Most of that's not important. If you ever have to call tech support, that's the information they're going to want to know. So we've let's again repeat that we're as if you just got this unit and we want to test and make sure that your unit is uh, running properly. Uh, you may also use this some occasionally when you're not sure if your system is running after you've had it a while. Okay, we're going to go into the manual control. This is not for everybody for everyday use. This you can do some damage if you uh, uh, press some buttons that shouldn't be pressed. Uh, all the say it turns all the safety features off this unit in typical in typical production runs. It will not allow for a that arm to crash into a. Uh, an incubator drawer um, but in manual mode I can kick out a drawer and tell the mo the the arm to home and it will crash uh, this can provide some uh, uh, some setting errors um, so now that we've got the unit it's initialized it's asking what control we want to run um, here we're on the reader control and we can tell it to eject the drawer, for example. When it's done, we can tell it to reinsert it. We can run a self-test. We can move that plate to, um, uh, to wherever in the unit, in the uh, reader that we want. Uh, again, same thing on the drawer. We can move the, we can do uh, most of the functions of the, um, that the arm can produce. If you can look here at the list, we can such as, there's the list of, of, of possible functions. And back to the drawer while we're there. Here in your plate movement, which is uh, one of the functions that uh, this unit will be doing a lot of at your shop, is we want to get a plate or a plate carrier from drawer one. You press the do, it begins the process, and goes and picks up one of the metal plate carriers. Uh, that would typically be carrying a microplate 96 well. From here we can put that, that plate carrier in any one of the positions, uh, such as absorbent reader, the wash station, incubator, one, two, it doesn't matter. And we can put it back in the drawer. Um, such as to put the plate in the wash station. The plate should settle in any, in any of the drawers and all the drawers uh, w without any 
uh, slop, any slap. It should be nice and gentle. Uh, remember, you're going to have liquid in those uh, plate holders. Don't want it sloshing around. Uh, in our testing, uh, we will run an exhaustive test um, in our unit. that will run those in cycles. If you do notice that you've got a, a, a slap, the, the plate not quite settling function, that's where you're gonna to need to go in and adjust it. Um, we're gonna get this plate from the washer. And for the simulation, I'm going to put it in incubator two or one, uh, yeah, incubator two. Now, what I mean by slap, this unit would be low on one side or high on one side, to the left, to the right. And we can teach it where that's, that point in time is. And that's done. Uh, through the software. Very easy to do, very easy to adjust, and you're gonna get those adjusted quite easily. But some of our testing is just what I'm saying, is to go through all these steps to move a plate from every drawer position to every uh, module station. Um, to we, pick, we have it to pick up tips, to pick up uh, sample, scannable sample vials, bring them to the, through the scanner. We'll run fluids uh, through the unit wash, uh, for washing of the plates um, as all part of the testing. This makes sure that we don't have a leaky bottle, that the sensors in your bottles are good, uh, that the tubing is not um, gotten brittle and uh, or perhaps has a hole in it. Um, Again, on your waste uh, vessel, very similar. Um, that we, we've seen these come in before where somebody um, has lost uh, the, the lid or broke the lid to their waste bottle, put it on a, what they thought was something close enough, and the unit does not work. All important that they have that right bottle. Um, we can do the same thing with, with uh, uh, Scan, make the scanner, if you're going to be scanning your plates, this is, these have dual scan, both a plate scan and a horizontal scan for scanning your sample vials. So those are some things that you're going to want to be sure are uh, that to, to check for when you get your new system. And that's the DSX-4 in this case. Thank you very much.